okay, I, I realised that the, the Carbon Project is a pretty uh, significant investment and it's a joint project between us and Chicken Meat, but why is it so important to investigate our carbon impact? I guess it was developed to give a holistic view on environmental impacts uh, from eggs and chicken meat. Um, we'd done some work 10 years ago and uh, one of the aims with this project is to be able to update it and uh, to, to be able to track if there's any change or hopefully progress in uh, reducing environmental impact over that time period. If you think about the whole supply chain that goes into producing an egg, you're talking not just about the farm, but also all the feed that's produced to um, to grow those eggs. That's the main thing really going into to the eggs. So um, this kind of study assesses all of that, not just the farm, but also the, the supply chain. The terms like carbon footprint, water footprint, they're becoming more, um, I guess, understood by, by consumers. Um, as a way of understanding the environmental impacts of the food they eat. And that's exactly the outcome of this project is to report on the carbon footprint and actually the energy and water footprint as well of eggs and chicken meat and to be able to examine how that's changed over the, the past 10 years. If you could just tell me briefly, because I know there's quite a bit involved, but how, how you're going about this project and what's involved? There is two aspects of it. There's one is I, I've, I've sort of alluded to is this benchmarking component, you know, answering the question, what is the carbon footprint? What is the water footprint of Australian eggs? The other component is how do we improve that and particularly around um, reducing uh, carbon and greenhouse gas related emissions. So there's a whole aspect around establishing pathways to, to low greenhouse gas or even carbon neutral eggs and, and meat chicken. We're looking at Australia wide and uh, engaging, you know, we're, we're, we're collecting data around energy use, we're collecting data around water use, we're collecting uh, data around feed and productivity. Uh, all of that feeds into the story uh, so that we can then uh, effectively model the carbon footprint from there. What do you envisage the the main impact of the research will be? There's, I think there's there's two really useful uh, outcomes here. One is for communicating to consumers and general public about um, not just you know what are the impacts of eggs, but also what the industry is doing about it. That it's proactive. Obviously, the the, um, the industry has developed a, a sustainability framework recently, and and one of the um, main uh, indicators in that is is around climate change, and so this study will provide real data behind that for the egg supply chain. And I guess that's the second piece is is uh, helping the industry know where to improve going forward. Uh, so there's a lot of ideas out there, and a lot of people. Um, everyone's got an idea um, and that's great but uh, what you need to know is which ones are going to have a real uh, the real ability to shift the dial um, part of this project also has uh, a question there around how would the industry become carbon neutral you know you can find carbon neutral beef for example on the retail shelf now in Australia uh, and to work out how to you know how to get there you start by doing a carbon footprint.